As the crisis at our southern border continues, Customs and Border Protection reveals they have made over 4,400 rescues as illegals try to enter the country. It's a dangerous journey. Our next guest says Congress needs to work to prevent. Acting CBP Commissioner Mark Morgan joins us from our nation's capital. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. You know, you don't hear much about the rescues where the men and women of your agency put their lives on the line to help save these people, do you? Steve, you're spot on. And thanks for giving me just a minute to talk about that. This is why that I say the men and women of CBP are heroes. Look, 4,400 right. just this year, they're risking their lives. While the cartels and the smugglers, they don't care about these individuals that are right. they're I I illegally in our country. But the Border Patrol agents and the officers do. They're risking their lives every single day. 4,400. And Steve, it's important. They don't ask what their nationality is. They don't ask them if they're illegally entering the country. They see a human being at need and left at the hands of the smugglers, and they're risking their lives to save them. With humanity and compassion, that's why the men and women at CDP are my heroes. And the number of people who are being apprehended at our southern border is going down, but the number of rescues going up. That's absolutely right. We see those numbers continue to go up each and every year. And that should tell the American people this is a dangerous trek. The cartels don't give a darn about these individuals. All they care about is lining their pockets with more money while they're exploiting this vulnerable population, Steve. You're spot on. Okay. Uh, let's switch gears because this uh, is going to, uh, you know, hit you right here. And that is the what the Chicago Police Department is doing. <laughs> Apparently... Um, Homeland Security is calling the direction of Chicago PD for its officers to not cooperate with ICE as deeply concerning. Here's a statement from the Chicago PD. The Department of Homeland Security is, I'm sorry, this is DHS. The Department of Homeland Security is deeply concerned with the dangerous anti-law enforcement direction given by the leadership of the Chicago Police Department, failing to support fellow law enforcement officers upon request for assistance, not only places our heroic police officers in greater danger, but keeps criminals on the street. So in, in Chicago, uh, they're not going to help ICE, right? That's right, Steve. Look, I, I, I've been doing law, law enforcement for a few decades, and I can tell you, I'm a lot more than concerned about this politically driven policy. What the, what the citizens of Chicago need to understand is this policy is going to create more victims in their city. ICE has and always will. Their priorities are go after criminal aliens, not just aliens that are here illegal, but criminal aliens that are here illegally and have committed additional crimes against the city of Chicago in this incident. Just last week, ICE arrested and apprehended a Mexican national that had been deported twice for sexual abuse. This kind of policy would make that harder for ICE to do. It's outrageous, it's reckless, and lives will be in danger because of this. Because you've been doing this line of work for decades, as you said, when did it become okay not to enforce the laws of the land? It's never become okay, Steve. And what, what, but what that's I, what's what, happening. It, it is, and that's what the American people should be outraged. Stop listening to the politicians. Start listening to law enforcement who have dedicated their lives to protecting the citizens. And I'm telling you, this policy is going to lose lives. I promise you that. And when did it become okay that one law enforcement agency didn't help another? That's what. That's our strength. That's how we protect the citizens of every city in this country. This is outrageous, and this is reckless. And and something should be done about this. You are not the only one who feels that way. Uh, Mark Morgan, Acting Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection, sir, thank you very much for joining us live and telling us the story about those uh, rescues. Hats off thank to you. the men and women of your department. Thank you, sir.